Do what? A trooper? Yeah. Well, well, it's because I believe what I believe. You know, I honestly look around, yeah. <laughs> and I believe that people living in sin, not loving Christ, not living for Christ, living in sin, the Bible says they're going to go to hell. Because I know what hell is like by what the Word of God says. I wouldn't want my worst enemy to go to hell. So, I don't know anybody out here. Well, I might know somebody if they walked up, but right now I don't know anybody. But I don't want to see anybody go to hell. So, according to what the Word of God says, and that's what I believe in, I'm going to preach. Now, if someone doesn't believe that, that's their decision. They can just continue on and they can walk on down. But the problem is, is when people have a problem with it, it's because the Bible is God's living word. And it pierces their soul. And it starts convincing them. I could stand out here and preach the Koran and nobody would have a problem with it. But you stand out here and preach the word of God. And this is the response you get. Why? Because it's the only word that still is true and convinced. It's the living word of God. Jesus' name, people hate it because it's the only name that still convicts. It's the only name that has power. Alright man, so, so you go to church? Yeah. So you're a Christian? Presbyterian, yep. You are? So, what, how do the Presbyterians deal with drinking? Well, not fine extent. So, okay, let's just say that I'll go with the excess part. If you drink in excess, then you become a drunkard, correct? Yeah. So the Bible says no drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Agree? So if you know what hell is like, why would you even want to take the first step to becoming something that can send you to hell? That's right. Good luck at it that way. Listen, if you, if you were in the middle of the winter time, and you, and you fell into a swimming pool. What would be your gut reaction right off the bat? Get out. Get out. Get out. You want to get out, right? So, if a Christian falls into sin, if there's someone they shouldn't be, they fall into temptation. Not will Wait a minute. I'm, talk I'm talking to this guy. Can you add? Listen, I'm talking to this guy. So, you can't willfully go out and sin. Okay? That's not great. So, for me to plan to bring this girl home, be alone with her, have sex with her. I, I premeditated that. That's, I didn't fall into that temptation. I planned that out. But if you fall into that pool, you, you want to get out. For a Christian, if they fall into sin, their reaction should be, I want to get out of this. Not to stay in it or continue in it, right? So if you find yourself in sin and you don't have a problem with it, maybe you need to check your soul. Maybe the Holy Spirit's not there. But then, last thing, where do you have to be to fall into a pool? You gotta be on the edge. You gotta be on the edge, right? The Bible says, the Bible says, oh, let's go. Right, the Bible says to flee all forms of ungodliness. That's not fleeing. It, you're, you're, I'm not saying you're a drunkard, but you're on the line. You see what I'm saying? So don't be on the line. Alright, man.